Taiwan is extremely important for many aspects. Uh, it's very interesting in itself that it's an island. It's submitted, as you all know, by, uh, under a lot of uh, transformation, which is due to urbanization, uh, technical development. It's also uh, the land of typhoons, of uh, earthquakes. It's also, people don't always know that, the most eroded uh, land on Earth, that is where the powers of the uh, erosion is, is, the, is the stronger. Uh, and it's a scale model for the planet Earth for me. So what happens on the planet Earth, if you take Taiwan, it's a scale model. And then we take the exhibition at, in Taiwan, in Taipei, as a scale model of a Taiwan scale model, which is the scale model of the Earth. You and I don't live on the same planet is actually uh, now completely true. Before, you and I don't live on the same planet, just meant uh, you disagree, we don't have the same religion, you don't have the same politics, I'm from the left, you are from the right. But now, you and I don't have the same planet, it means it's a different planet. You live somewhere, and uh, on your planet there is no climate change, there is no uh, threatening of uh, biodiversity and so on and so forth, and on my planet, the biodiversity is crashing, and there is a climate change which is enormously uh, important. So I push the notion of, of planet and different planet to mean exactly that. So is it possible in the scale model of a show to visualize the fact that you and I, the different visitors, don't live on the same planet, and that they might have to choose which planet we associate well with. We started this biennale with the work of Fernando Palma, and all of those you know, cardboard figures are actually drawn from the Nahua iconography, which is a, a, a group part of Mexico. Therefore, for us, it was very interesting to start the biennial with a kind of like strange encounter with those figures which are, don't have uh, such a clear status. Once you arrive in, within Planet Globalization, we have invited artists who were all depicting one different aspect of the kind of attraction that this planet could have. And a very strong example for this is the work by Franck Lebovici and Julien Seroussi. Two of them focused on an attack which happened in uh, the Republic du Congo, Democratic du Congo, uh, in a small village called Bogoro. And they worked with court practitioners, actual court practitioners, on experimenting different kinds of methodologies in order to work with the evidences. What Julien uh, Seroussi, who was himself a legal analyst in this court, and Franck Lebovici, who is an artist and a poet, did, is that they said, look, let's try to experiment other ways of displaying those evidences. Let's try to put them as a sort of mood board, for example, like an artist or a designer would organize, would organize a studio, like. And let's see if there's not some kind of like new connections which occur. And in the biennial, we will restage that kind of methodological room, this room which is made to exp experiment different kinds of like display of evidences. And the visitors, thanks to the help of a mediator, can put themselves in the shoes of one of these legal practitioners. We commissioned an artist called Qin Zhengde. They worked on the iconography of defense, the kind of visual culture of defending oneself within the context of the Cold War in Taiwan. And so they explore that through various materials that you can see uh, within the museum. The artist Femke Hergraven is very interested by the imaginary of that panic room. And in it, she stages a sort of discussion between three extinct species, which, which are avatars of, uh, of a weird sort, which are discussing about the absence of the owner of the space, the absence of the last man, and, and they pretty much, they felt pretty lonely. They're on a lonely planet. 
We're really happy that we were able to, to launch an important commission to the artist Arui Komakan, who creates like some sort of sculptures with wools and other materials using lemikalik, which is a, a Paiwan technique, which consists in weaving into concentric circle. There was a very violent typhoon in Taiwan, which displaced her and all of the members of her village and therefore, how do you relocate once you've been moved out by kind of such a, a strong climatic disruption? Well, that's the question which is at the core of her work where she tries to recreate through the weaving a form of connection between herself and all of the people from her village that she invites to work.展览的实体本身它其实是对星球不同的描绘跟影响我们很积极地去采取更多的活动跟行动 inside the, the show, uh, we want to convene the different specialists who are interested in scientific controversies question about pollution, question about development, the specialists coming from geology, the specialists coming from chemistry, and of course the artists who have been, who have been so uh, important in the Taiwan cinema, in the Taiwan uh, uh, artistic sphere, in order to understand uh, in what way Taiwan is impacted by the whole uh, ecological mutation. And since the Biennale is, a, is an international Biennale, it's very important that we help people from abroad see the originality of the way uh, Taiwan handles the ecological crisis. And this cannot be done except by mobilizing artists, scientists and curators, and of course the magnificent administration of a Taipei Biennale.